I am whatever I want to be. Whenever I want it. However I want it. That is what God is. He can be whatever he wants to be. He can be two, he can be three, he can be four, he can be six. Do you know the power that works with the name of Jesus? Let me tell you, from now till forever, we will not be able to finish the meditation that is in the power of the name of Jesus. A God came to you and doesn't know how... If you are, if you are God, what will you call yourself? There is no human name God can call himself that can qualify God. Think of it. There is no name. Whatever name we call God is not enough to... Every name we call him is only a dimension of what he can do. That's why he comes and reveals himself based on what he wants to do in your life. But his true name is I am that I am. That is his real name. I am whatever I want to be. Whenever I want it. However I want it. That is what God is. He can be whatever he wants to be. He can be two, he can be three, he can be four, he can be six. Say, why is it that your God, when I God day three, I be day one. He's God. He can be whatever he wants to be. He's not limited by your own human understanding. Your God is confused. Is it three or one or two? Which one is which? He's all of them. He is one. He is two. He is three. He is seven. Whichever one. How is it that uh, I thought the Holy Ghost, how is the Holy Ghost seven? He can be ten if he wants. That's why he's Holy Ghost. You don't measure him. Sometimes we try to give God definition. You can't define God. Your word calls him supreme. He's beyond supreme. You call him almighty. He's beyond mighty. Mighty is a small word. That's why they put A-L. Almighty. He's mightiest than the almightiest. Do you know why he calls himself the king of kings? It's just the way to qualify him. The king of kings is not enough to qualify his name. Lord of Lord. The Lord of the angels, the, the armies of heaven. Whatever you call him is not enough. That's why when we call him names in our physical world and we can't get it, we enter into tongue. Because it feels like he's the only tongue that can express what we are feeling for him. That's why sometimes, even though you have not started, you have received the Holy Ghost and you don't pray in tongues, there is a certain way you will pray. All of a sudden, language will want to burst out of your mouth. You are the one holding it back. That language is trying to express God. That was why I was there. I shared a testimony that he listened to something about um, uh, Minister Vito Renz. And all of a sudden, she said something. What did that? That's something she used to say. She said, God is here. And she busted into tongues. But that river has been there. There was no English word that could help to express what she was feeling. It was tongues. 